Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Pretty close there. Uh, today is Sunday. She's short. I'm still taller than you. I am. I love that color of her shirt. Good morning and welcome to today. I've already been up for a while and I made these. You guys remember that the people that we bought our Christmas tree from gave us all the extra pieces and I made these little planter things, these little flower boxes. So they're pretty much exactly the same. One is a red bottom, one is a silver bottom. I found those at a store. That's Ellie barking. We're just getting ready to leave so we just put her in her crate and she doesn't like it. Anyway, I wanted to show you really quick before we leave, before I get them set up outside on the front porch. But I love them. They actually turned out nicer than I thought they would. What didn't you like about the, what don't you like about the tree? They cut off all the bottom pieces. So they cut off all the bottom pieces. I love it. I'm gonna show you guys our tree. Look how cute this cat is. But look at how cute our cat is. Okay, so she has grown a lot. In the camera, she looks huge. Hold her up with one hand though. She's actually, actually in the camera, she looks so huge. In real life, she looks like eight weeks old. She does not like her. All right, in the camera she does look, it's weird. But I look at her in the camera, and then I look at her in real life, it's so drastically different. But anyway, she is a, an amazing little kitten. This is the tree, and I don't love that it's not super full on the inside, like with decorations and stuff. And again, in the camera it looks like it's not full at all, but in real life it doesn't look as bad. But anyway, I love it, I love the shape of it. I think definitely next year we'll get a different kind. Even though I love how balanced it is and I love like the shape and how there's so much room underneath to put presents, I do want one that's more full in the middle. Wait, you start putting presents with it? Um, Daisy I don't know. Has a lot of presents. Yeah, Sophie has a little tree in her room and she keeps all her dog's presents underneath it. So today I have to run into town and get a couple of things for Christmas that I have to get now before I can't get it. And we're leaving Gabby at home. She wants to always sleep in on Sundays. Sundays are her day. Sundays are her day, and she she made me promise that she can sleep every Sunday. Oh, they're all down there. Lola's down there too. Yep. Apparently, all. Oh, you see Lola walking? No, I don't see them. She's walking to go behind the shelter. Oh, oh, I see her, the poor little baby. Chili was down there. Yeah, they're all down in the corner of the goats. Oh, I feel so sorry for... Wait, somebody was screaming. Yeah. Oh, one's left behind. Uh-oh. No, Lola. That's never good. Anyway, I feel bad for Lola. If you guys remember, she's trying to break into the herd, and our, and her, it's hard to do with goats. She goats are, like, it. mean forever. They kind of accept her, as long as she doesn't try and, like, do anything crazy, like like eat their food or be close to them. Anyway, my point was that I let Gabby sleep on on Sundays because she's away all week. She never has time to like just sleep in and she loves sleeping in. She loves staying up late. She's a night, night owl and she doesn't get to do that ever. So Sundays are her days. That's why Sophie's going to do chores on Sundays. And today Gabby is gonna ride Harvey. So I want her to get as much sleep as possible. Except all right, really so nice yeah, it's like a spring day out here. But while we're out, we're going to go into the bulk barn and we're going to start off the holiday season with Gabby's favorite hot chocolate. I'm not going to lie, this is my favorite store because I like candy. Let's get some I even like weird candies. What is this? Like this. I've never tried this before. We should get it. You would hate it. And we all love chocolate. Oh my God. It's vanilla graham clusters with pretzels. So. This is Laura's favorite hot chocolate. They have creamy white, candy cane. So what's Sophie's favorite hot chocolate? You like white? What's Gabby's favorite kind? S'mores, peanut butter, crunch. So that's all we have. Salted caramel, peanut butter crunch, or s'mores. Crunch vanilla cappuccino. All right, let's get that too. Okay, so we just got home. And Sophie thinks that she found a secret nest that the chickens are hiding from us. How did she know? Because there's a chicken laying there. If there's a secret nest. Why were you laying there? <laughs> By yourself. <laughs> there's no eggs. The rooster just came from across the road. Oh my God, all of our chickens are across the road. Michigan. The neighbors are probably getting all of our eggs. Stop going across the road. Last night, the craziest thing happened. We came to put the chickens to bed 
We count them every night to make sure that they're all here. And that little black one was missing. Come on! So last night, we looked everywhere. We thought something got it. We, f we were freaking out. We looked everywhere, everywhere. Sophie even came out a little bit later because she was so nervous. And it turns out it got itself wedged behind that coop, trying to hide, I guess. Oh, look, all the silkies are together. Anyway, so we still have it. Thank goodness, because oh, I can't imagine losing it. Like, don't love the idea of losing any of her chickens, especially when they go across the street, for goodness sake. All right, so this is what we got at the bulk barn. We used to buy a lot of stuff there. So we got, um, white hot chocolate candy cane hot chocolate cappuccino mix score hot chocolate and then we got these little chocolates i don't know what they are Hershey's cookies. we got cream. chocolate rocks i actually like these yogurt covered raisins and we got ginormous chocolate malt balls i actually wanted to get the chocolate hot chocolate stuff for our friday night because we like to like have snacks or we like to have something special for friday nights when we watch movies and stuff um, but we didn't get to the bulk barn, so we ended up just buying regular hot chocolate. But next Friday night, we are set! I love our tree, you guys. It's incredible how much you can love something just based off the experiences of buying it. Like, us going out there and being together and having fun. Just being together and doing all that was so fun for me. Alright, we are ready to roll. I bought chocolate rocks. Do you like those? What? Raisins, I know you don't like, but malt balls. These are not raisins. I know, you like those, right? <laughs> you guys only like the same thing. Sophie's learning to crochet, finally. I'm making an ear bonnet. An ear bonnet for her pony. All right, let's head out. Come on, let's go, we're going to ride. Gabby, I also bought you Score hot chocolate. No, what is it? You said it was your hot chocolate. Oh, it's s'mores. S'more hot chocolate. Oh, the lady was normal. They were all the same price. Poor little baby goat. I feel I I feel so bad for her. Like I hate her having to try and fit in. Anyway, it was so warm and cozy all day. And then we're finally ready to ride. And it's freezing cold. So it's all dusty now, but I have all these extra brushes and stuff and I kept them in on the shelf and I was thinking like when the grandkids come over they can use them. But what ended up happening is that now I'm thinking this could be Harvey's bag. It literally was so warm all day. But we, well, this is how we roll guys, this is how we roll. We roll, <laughs> how we sleep all day and then we ride in the cold. No, you have to get up earlier from now on on weekends. The minute you teach her to crochet and she's addicted, she brings it in the car. Gabby says that she doesn't want to wake up earlier on weekends because it's her one chance. All right, isn't that a sight for sore eyes? Look at, do you remember us? Hi, kitty kitty. This is not our kitty. Looks like our kitty though. Don't you know that you're beautiful?